out some of Jeff Matthews' artwork. Come join me. This is Jeff's art studio. And that's Kami. Hi, Kami. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Sunday morning. Late March 2021, if I recall. <laughs> I think that's right. I prepared the sides of the canvas first with undiluted unbleached white that's what this is right here that's the color this is that's the base of the painting the base color of the painting i'm going to use is a burnt umber a brown color yeah. it's going to be able to flow we're going to flow this color uh i want it to flow so i gotta I dilute it it's not going to be full strength So, I'll put some in the cup. What I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use it a couple of different paintings. So, I'm, I'm going to over mix it right now. And what I use to dilute it with is Floetrol or Flood. You buy it at Home Depot or any hardware store, as a matter of fact. I'm mixing the brown umber, the burnt umber with Floetrol. To get a brown this has to be mixed really good since i put the flow trawl on there the method that i'm going to be doing is actually called a dutch pour i have no idea why they call it a dutch pour but that's just what various artists that i've seen on the internet call it as they're doing this is a Dutch pole and I'm actually going to be blowing it out with a hairdryer. <laughs> Interesting. Very. Three colors, the Olympic gold, the cool mat just for a little accent, and the basic burnt umber. How I'm going to put it on here before we blow it out. Something like that. It doesn't take much. I'm not, I'm not looking for too heavy. <coughs> Since that's going to be the most prominent color there. I'm gonna actually want more of that than I use on the Olympic Gold. I'll go lightly, and when I put this on top of this burnt umber, I'm just gonna randomly swirl it in there. Kinda like that. <clears throat> and for an accent color, like I say, just to give it a little something to make it pop I'm gonna use the cool mint and I'm just gonna use a little bit of it because again it's just for an accent oops it's a little heavy Aww. get carried away there's probably a uh, better methods to pour this out of a bottle okay now Back to the base color. Actually, how this stuff really works, I'm going to take this base color again that I already have on the canvas and I'm going to encircle what I just did. Again, I'm going to blow this out with the hair dryer. I might want to hit it with the, again, to get any kind of air bubbles out of it. 
You see the air bubbles, it's, maybe you weren't close enough, but they really react to that heat. They really come out of the paint, they're yeah, hidden inside the paint. And if you don't torch it or use some kind of heat, the heat gun here, then uh, they could actually come to the surface after you've completed the painting and really cause a lot of chaos and havoc. Now I have the hair dryer. <laughs> Which, by the way, I only use it for painting, obviously. <laughs> it's got two settings on it, high and low. I generally use high on for myself when I do this. And what I'll do is I'll blow this base color over the top of the other colors that I put in there. to start with. Then, I'll start blowing it out. You might want to back up a little bit because this does get somewhat messy. gun to get any of the air bubbles <coughs> that was created by blowing it out with that air dryer I don't want to sit one in one spot too long because the heat will actually create a film on the paint we don't want to do that. We're just trying to get some air bubbles out of it at that point. And pretty much, there's your painting, wet. It'll dry, and you won't be able to notice, like, the layers, like, the thickness of the paint, because it'll dry to the canvas. And uh, when it's all dry, I may put some gloss on it to make it pop a little bit see where I want kind of heavy with the green but you know in a sense that's okay because this is abstract art and you never know what you're gonna actually create what I'm doing as an artist is actually trying to pick the right colors combination that makes this type of art work Thank you for visiting. Hope to see you again sometime. We'll show you the painting when it dries.
forget, subscribe to James and Dyla YouTube channel for more interesting content and awesome people like Jeff Matthews. Kita tayo mama ya. Subscribe to James and Dyla's YouTube channel. One more time. Subscribe to James and Dyla's YouTube channel.